everybody. It's the Harding Morning News. You're tuned to the most watched middle school news program at Harding Middle School. Weather, lunch menus, information about meetings await you. And remember, you are special. Good morning, Harding Middle School. Today is Tuesday, October 14th. I'm Kara. And I'm Audrey. I'm leaving for Disney World tomorrow. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here are the Harding headlines. Teen Read Week, Market Day, Volleyball Results, Girls Basketball Camp, and Good Citizens. Let's begin today's broadcast with a look at Teen Read Week with our literary reporter, Sasha. Hey Harding, it's day two of Teen Read Week. For today's report, I've asked some of the staff here to reflect on and share remembrances of what they read and enjoyed when they were teens. Yes, believe it or not, our teachers were once young people. Here's what a few of them were reading back in the day. Our principal, Mr. Nemo, liked to read the news. He liked following politics and other current events. Mr. Nemo also liked reading about scientific topics. Sixth grade teacher Mrs. Howard liked reading romance novels in middle school. She said they made her feel more grown up. Eighth grade teacher Mr. Corrigan has this to report. I hated to read it first. One day, my dad gave me a novel by Louis L'Amour and often known as the greatest Western novelist. I read Mojave Crossing, a story about a young cowboy who had to cross the Mojave Desert and runs into a woman who needs help getting across. It was an action-packed story with challenges of man versus nature, man versus man, and man versus himself. I ended up reading all of his novels and learned a great deal about our nation's Western expansion, Native American peoples, and their cultures and traditions, and many geographical wonders. I'll be back tomorrow, Harding, with some more information about Teen Read Week. I'm Sasha. Keep turning those pages. Thanks, Sasha. Nice work as always. Attention 8th graders, a message from the PTSA Market Day Fundraising Unit. 8th graders, don't forget to turn in your cookie dough orders along with cash or checks for the orders to your home-based teachers no later than Wednesday. You can continue to sell pies into November. Happy selling! And now for our look at sports, here's Emma with our volleyball results. Good morning, sports fans. Both the 7th and 8th grade volleyball teams were victorious over North Ridgeville. The 7th grade squad handily beat Ridgeville in the first game, then struggled a little in the second. Although down many points, our 7th grade Lady Rangers never gave up and slowly chipped away at the deficit. In the end, they pulled ahead and sent Ridgeville packing. Some outstanding serves were delivered by Abby Toletta and Cassidy Baldridge. Tara Cantura had some nice key digs, too. Nice job, 7th grade. The 8th grade squad dealt North Ridgeville a loss, too. Margaret McElwee set up shop and put on a serving clinic. Margaret banked, blanked them with one cannonball after another, completely unanswered. Mackenzie Lane, Sarah Yonkers, Katie Booth, Amina, K and Amina K. Shea, and Grace Stringer all had some outstanding touches, too. Izzy Bryson had some great, great serves. Also, a quick thank you to all the students and teachers who helped to pack the gym. We made some noise and let our Lady Rangers know that we had their backs. With a look at sports, I'm Emma. Now it's back to the anchors. Thanks, Emma. Great job, Lady Rangers. Attention, girls. Lakewood Lady Rangers Youth Ball Basketball Camp is from October 21st to the 23rd from 6 to 8 in the Harding Gym. The cost is $15. Any questions? Ask Ms. Griffith. From Mr. Sullivan, attention students, 
As you leave school property and begin your journey home, please remember that you have a responsibility to be a good citizen in your community. Careful not to disturb homes or businesses around our school by knocking on windows, running through yards, or vandalizing private property. It's just wrong. We all have a responsibility to keep Lakewood clean and safe. Make sure you do your part. Thanks. Celebrating his birthday today is Joe Spellacy. Happy birthday. Whoop, whoop. And now for a look at today's 238 forecast. Here's Jack at our 36-point calibrated Promethean board. Hello, Harding. I'm Jack. Today's weather will be 75 degrees, mostly cloudy and windy with showers, so don't forget your umbrella. Tonight's weather will be 58 and rainy, so if you're outside at night, well, you should be asleep, don't forget an umbrella. Back to the anchors. Let's take a look at today's foodies. Turkey taco, aka Thanksgiving nachos, carrots, pears, tortilla, and milk. And now here's Harlan and Hattie with today's Harding Har Har. Har Har. Hey Hattie, want to know my favorite dance? Sure. The Harlan Shake. The Harlan Shake. Back to two years ago. Come on, Harding. 